The Pulse Smart Pen is probably the most mobile smart pen you'll find because all it needs is a notebook and not the computer to be turned on when you're using the pen. It stores all the data internally in its memory and when you get home to your laptop, you simply connect the pen to the dock and it will transfer all the information to the LiveScribe desktop application which holds all your digital documents. Let's see how it works. So the first thing you do is you turn on the pen. There's no cap to take off and it will spend a moment booting. And as soon as it's ready, you can write. So now I write radius of a circle. And I would like to make a pen cast out of this. So what I do to create a pen cast is simply to press the record button. Take a look at this. So there's a little record button down here. And maybe you heard the little beep. So now I write this is a circle and this is the center. The radius of the circle is this distance and we use the letter R to signify the radius. And then I stop the pen cast. So now I created this little pen cast of a few seconds and I can actually replay it directly. So take a look at this. If I press So you can actually play back and I can touch the line here. And pause. So that's kind of interesting that it records the audio and you can actually play it back by touching different parts of this pen cast. So for now it's just on paper and we need to transfer it to a computer. So I dug it right here. And uh, now on my laptop. It's now transferring the data from the pen to the LiveScribe desktop. So it takes a moment. So what you see right now is that a few extra pages has been added to my A5 notebook. And if I double click this page, you'll see this is the stuff I just drew in my notebook right here. It's shown digitally on the screen. And if I click anywhere on this line, and there you see the screencast is played back locally. If you create a pencast like this, you can not only play it back locally on your LiveScribe desktop, but also share it with your students by uploading it to the LiveScribe community. The drawback is you need to use their website for sharing the pencast, but for now this is the way you can do it and it might work out for you. So let's just see how this works. You select the page with the pencast and you press the community button, which is shown right here and you give it a name, so radius of a circle. And I press share, so now it's uploading. The content has been uploaded, I can choose to view the content, yes thanks. And there we go, radius of a circle is now online and I can play it back. And maybe you heard the little beep, so now I write this. I can show it in full screen. And this is the center. The radius of the circle. And I can jump around by just this is a circle. clicking anywhere on the green lines. The, center, the, radius of the, circle. the black lines is all the information that I recorded before I actually stopped or started recording the pencast. So uh, that is not animated with um, uh, audio commentary. In order to share this, all you need to do is basically to get a link to this file, which is right here. So you take this, you copy it, paste it into an email, push it onto a message on CampusNet, and you're done. Almost, because you also need to set the right access permissions. You need to make this file public. So by pressing this, the file is now public, as you can see right here. And anybody with the right link will be able to view it. We're already using pencasts quite actively at uh, 01005, the math course, basic math course at DTU. We have been doing that for half a year now. And what we do is we walk through existing examples from the textbook using a pencast. I would like to show you an example. And uh, what you should notice here is that apart from this being different from radius of a circle, it's also embedded in our own environment. So what you see is that the pencast appears on the, the website belonging to the math course and uh, you can play it back directly in this context. You can jump around. 
and so on. So um, even though pencasts need to be hosted at the LiveScribe website, you can also embed it in your own environment and uh, thereby not having to um, push students over to their uh, website. Apart from creating, recording pencasts with audio, you can also just save the digital handwriting to a PDF file and distribute. So for any note taking, this is a quite cool way to uh, bring your handwriting into the digital domain. Uh, that's one very cool feature of any of these pens and in particular this one it will be very nice vector graphics. There's also an iPhone application for pencasts but uh, even though you can play back a pencast on your iPhone or iPad it's uh, not very useful because it's very difficult to find pencasts from others and you can see all your own pencasts that you upload but really the potential would be that you could distribute it to students and they could watch it on their iPhone, iPad, whatever i device they might own. So um, it's, it's a nice vision, but it's not fully um, complete yet, I would say.